Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, man, y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all read the title. Now, what to expect. Now, this is based on what to expect. Dealing with this whole bond hearing that's coming up. And like, tomorrow. Like, man, it's, it's, man it came fast. You know what I'm saying? But we also understand um, what's at play here, right? So again, y'all... Y'all know what's up first. You know, we always have to give our proper respect based on um, Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? So we would like to always say, rest in peace, Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Long live Flipper. Long live Paper Route Frank. Shout out to all my folks in uh, Dolphlandia. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, here we go. Again, you know, you know what I'm saying? That... Hey, man, and the PRE, hey, they still keeping their foot on the gas, man. They still going out there, man. So that's, we we love to see that, man. So, yeah, now based on this whole situation, right? All right, now, the bond hearing is around the corner, like I told y'all. Tomorrow, April 21st, early. So what we do know is Cornelia Smith has a paid lawyer. While Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, is represented by a court-appointed attorney. And again, this is a high-profile case. So, nothing towards the person representing him. But we know how it is when a high-profile case like this and you have a court-appointed attorney. All right. So, yeah, what to expect, man. So, hey, check this out. Did y'all see last week when the feds hit Straight Drop? With that uh, 24 extra months based on the violation of the Ex-Offender Registration Act. Hey, see, here we go. So, y'all, this is where people like, man, you mean to tell me this dude had all kind of priors. Like, how did, when he had a space without the people being on his back to go do this whole thing to Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just weird. We're, again, this is allegedly because they have no evidence on him. They have no, they have no evidence on straight drop or Cornelius Smith, like no real ballistics. You know what I'm saying? And this is where, this is what their lawyers are saying. And this is the reason why, again, because of due process in court, you are, you do have the right to, for a bond hearing. It doesn't mean you're, it doesn't mean you are eligible for it, but you do have the right for a bond hearing. Okay. Now, like I just told y'all, man, your boy straight drop. The feds gave him 24 months already, right? And that's based on a ex, uh, a ex offender registration act. You know what I'm saying? That he did not report um, on time um, based on his offense. Again, that's dealing with an ex offender case. All right. And again, right? Not to mention straight drop. He got the carjacking circuit that's going on that he's part of, right? And I mean, to me, if y'all ask me, I believe what happened to Straight Drop Moms was a message sent from them people. You know what I'm saying? To tell them basically take the rap or y'all, yeah, I mean, y'all know the rest. You know what I'm saying? And again, these, they had went to folks people. You know what I'm saying? They went to fam people crib. You know what I'm saying? And let y'all know, man. Somebody telling him, you know what I'm saying? Like, without really writing a message that, hey, take this or else. Because, like I told y'all from the beginning, he this is all on straight drop from the beginning. Right? Whoever he choose to point out, it's on him. If he choose to point out Cornelius Smith or go against his co-defendant, who is Cornelius Smith, it's his choice. If he decides to bring up Bang Wang, which is another person in question because he's part of the whole... Uh, uh, chain snatching crew, you know what I'm saying? That was down, who was down with the other side that was going against PRE, you know what I'm saying? So, again, you still have your boy Bang Wayne out there, and a lot of people are connecting the dots on who he associated with, and and some of these people being on the scene of the crime, you know what I'm saying? Wow, it was happening, right? Allegedly, all right. And I told y'all, I also, I also with that. I also believe that uh, Straight Drop, the reason why the feds gave him that 24 months, I think it was, allegedly, this is from me, I think it was, it was help from his lawyer because he just had got 
You know what I'm saying? They jumped. You know what I'm saying? So his lawyer, like, looking out just in case, making sure don't nothing else happen to him. You know what I'm saying? So, again, because anything happened to him, like, Hey, we we ain't finna go on. We don't want to go into that because we don't want we don't want that. All right, so here we go. Now, just pertaining to the Dolph setup, Cornelius Smith and Justin Johnson are both being charged with M1 for Young Dolph and attempted M1 on Young Dolph brother Marcus Thornton, who y'all could expect to see in trial because he is the key witness. Okay, Cornelius Smith lawyer reported that trial could take some time. Like I told y'all, man. Especially when you got all these moving pieces. You know what I'm saying? I informed you guys. You know what I'm saying? These moving pieces. With these moving pieces. Folks about to start talking, talking. I mean snitching, talking. You know what I'm saying? We know straight drop is talking. Allegedly. Because I'm telling you. The reason why he going to say what he say. Because they left dude dry. With no paid lawyer. With no proper support team. His family ain't really there for him like that. Like, again, I told y'all, man, he's, like, on an island by himself right now. With no real evidence saying that he did this to Young Dolph, man. Y'all, let's be real here. We got to make, we we got, we want to be, like, stri- clear black and white dealing with this. We don't, we don't want to go into, oh, yeah, again, it's, this is based on motives. Now, if the people were, the courts is still trying to find a motive, that means, Ah, uh, it's gonna be hard to point it to pin it on him. You feel what I'm saying? So again, we know straight drop is talking. Alright? Again, straight drop lawyer allegedly knows he already spilling the beans, man. Y'all got to remember, y- you still have two more suspects who are CEO Tizzy and Devin Burns. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is the reason why our trial could take longer. Alright? Now based on the state of Tennessee. Still turning over suspects, documents, and footage. So gathering the proper information while having patience with the court's process could take time. Cornelia Smith lawyer stated, that time could be a year or more. This is what I let you guys know from the beginning. This could take up to two years. And this is based on familiarity. All right. This is a, a guesstimation. Again, based on me having family or some of my folks that went down for N1 and they wanted to take it to trial. You know what I'm saying? And every one of their situations end up taking up to two years. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I told y'all when this first happened. I really don't, I really haven't been aware of a whole, somebody getting sent up a, a part of an N1 and it only taking like six months to a year. Like that's a year, a year, like that's a speedy that's a speedy trial. You know what I'm saying? That's because the people, the defendants are saying, hey, they ain't got enough evidence, so let's make this a, a speedy trial. So other than that, it, again, like I told y'all, the minimum is two years. All right. Again, when I seen all these moving pieces associated with Young Dolph getting sent up, I knew it would take longer than what most people expected. OK, as we see, Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith are co-defendants. As part of the court process due to the discovery report, both will appear in trial together. All right. Now, again, as stated from Cornelius Smith lawyer, he would not be filing any motions until all evidence is turned over from the state. Okay. again, Cornelius Smith attorney also states there is no way you could protect your client if the co-defendant chooses to testify. See how it's going? Again, even me with me saying all this, it's still a lot that can go on that it can make it seem as if like the trial is about to come or everything is coming to an end. But nope, you're going to have that hope stop because one of the co-defendants or a suspect that just came out the blue or a witness that just came out. See, y'all have to understand, again, it's a lot of moving pieces. Because like I informed y'all, the person on that chessboard, boy, they, they know how to play it. So Cornelius Smith lawyer does, does know on the 21st, April 21st, his bond could get denied based on the case being a high profile Capital One M1. OK, I mean, Capital M1. All right. Either way, it's looking real dark and gloomy for straight drop. While Cornelius Smith lawyer says he had he has a fighting chance once all evidence come forth. OK. 
we still know and understand these are send-offs protecting the main chess player. But for how long? Hey, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.